I wanted to make a program where I collected three female choreographers that I thought were all very important, very established people, and, and bring them to Houston to celebrate. There aren't very many female choreographers in the classical ballet world, and I think it's important that as a company we celebrate these great ladies and the work that they have done in the ballet community. As Ewa Barton had brought her company here to Houston a few years ago and I went to see the performance and I was really blown away. I loved the energy of the ballet, I loved that there was humour in it, there was a mixture between dance theatre and contemporary and classical. I, I found it inspirational as a choreographer. I knew that she had worked with some of the major companies. She'd done a ballet with American Ballet Theatre and National Ballet of Canada. So I knew that her reputation was building and it just seemed like such a great fit for our company. I knew our dancers would love a challenge of that kind of material and I thought that the audience reaction here in Houston was, was great. So I, I'm very excited to have her come here and create a, a new work for us. Twyla Tharp is one of the most uh, famous American choreographers. The Australian Ballet was lucky enough to do Upper Room, which was a work that was my first experience as a dancer with her. And then coming here, it was a ballet that I knew that I wanted to bring, and we had a huge success with it. I think the audience really appreciated her work. She'd never been seen here by this company before. And I think part of Houston Ballet's mission statement is to show the, the great city of Houston all the different, fantastic, important American choreographers. And she is certainly on the top of that list. I think household name almost with Twyla Tharp. And this ballet I really liked, the Brahms Haydn, because it was a large piece, which meant a lot of our dancers got to be in it. And it was very classically based. It also had that play between two different dynamics. Um, and I think it'll be a very uh, popular ballet here. I think I, one of the things I really admire about Twyla Tharp's work is her, uh, uh, is her melding or melting of classical and contemporary and, and street dancing and, and, and mime and everything into the one thing. She's a very brave cook and will use all sorts of different ingredients and I really appreciate that. I love, I love her, uh, her braveness. Julia Adams well, was a principal dancer with San Francisco Ballet and I created several of my own ballets on her as a dancer and then she became a choreographer and I really loved the uniqueness of her voice. She had a, a kind of a childlike, humorous, very simple uh, way of telling a story and I think she could really connect to storytelling very well. She came to do uh, Ketuba here as a ballet. She's done two ballets for us here. The story of Ketuba is a Jewish wedding. The music is a klezmer band. It's the best little klezmer band in Texas. And you follow a young bride and a groom through the wedding ceremony. Uh, and it includes a, a lot of the traditional elements of a Jewish wedding, but with a sense of humor and naughtiness to Julia. And uh, it was created on our company for our dancers, which is very important. I think one of my favourite elements of Ketuba is the humour in it, that I, I, I giggle now and then. There's a, a romance to it, I think that scenically it's very beautiful and the end really is a goosebumpy kind of moment and I think uh, those kind of theatre experiences is what we're all here for.